Uh, seeing as the projects are piling up here, you know, people are emailing me. Hey, uh, you want to look at this? Or, oh, uh, hey, you want to look at this? Hey, how about this? Or, hey, man, ever tried crack before? Uh, no, is, is it addictive? Nah, man, it's just crack. And I personally have only about four brain cells. We got to get cracking on the new HEA designs, knife update, you know, model update, and a comb. Yeah, <laughs> a comb. The Sabertooth V2 version 2. Um, I'm sure viewers can't wait for the greasy close-ups. Does he use it on the thinning hair? Or the patchy beard? Wait, is, is there other hair he could use? Oh, God. But before we get into that, let's take a look at the dimensions. Uh, now, it's true we have two things here, but the Elixir dimensions are pretty much identical to the original, so I'll just reuse my title card from that video, you know, for that one. The main difference here is, uh, is would just be the different colors. And now we're going to look at the comb or the saber tooth. And I'll have you know I did make sure to remove any hair from the comb before I shot this part. Uh, I cannot make that promise for every single shot in the video, unfortunately. Viewers, viewers know I'm not really a product staging sort of guy. I kind of did it professionally once when I worked at Circuit City in the mid-2000s. Uh, my planograms were so bad it tanked the whole company. Y and you know what? If you don't know what a planogram is, you know, honestly, man, it's not really worth Googling the planograms, okay? It really has nothing to do with product staging. Now, if you know the channel history here, I reviewed the Poison back in 2017. Uh, then the Hunter, a little bit later. Then the Falcon. Then the Anchor. And then the Chief. And then the Elixir V1. Maybe I should have said those a little slower. Now we're doing the V2 of the Elixir here and the Sabretooth. I know, cool history, bro. The Sabretooth is based upon the fancy original Sabretooth, which is an EDC comb. You know, Microtech makes like a an out-the-front comb, which I don't know how the hair situation inside that's going to work, but that's not my problem. But this one here, uh, the original, sorry, not this one here, but the original of this one here was made from titanium, and it's long since sold out. Nearly all of HEA designs, uh, the designs are limited engagements, and once they're gone, they're they're gone. Unless, of course, they do an update. They could do an update, I guess, like they do on the uh, this one. Now, the new Saber Tooth Mini is cheaper than the original, and instead of titanium, they G-tenified the handle, so it's lighter. It has coarse teeth. Well, they're not like rough, just like widely spaced. Like, is coarse the right word for a wide tooth comb? Uh, beards. Staging your arm hair for your arm shots for your watch reviews that no one watches uh, Maybe you can even comb your hair, you know, can you imagine a guy sitting at his desk and you look over? He's just combing his hair to himself. I could imagine that would it would it surprise a viewer though that I rarely comb my hair Just run a few fingers through it now. I don't know if discussing the ergonomics is something we really need but um, you know We are you gonna comb for 10 minutes? It's hard hard combing hard use man. I want my combs hard use Maybe have a pretty thick tactical beard. I don't know. But the handle here is smooth and comfortable. It's a front flipper with a liner lock, so you can fidget with it. And if a coworker looks over, you can say, Hey, hey, man, it's just a comb, bro. All right, I left my knife at home today. Are we going to have a problem with that? Plus, HR already said I can't bring in switchblades no more. Wear my Metallica shirt, and I don't. But if you better believe if they made a metal up your ass polo, I'd wear that shit. And Fran, she couldn't touch me. No. Business casual, Fran. It's got a collar. It's in the handbook. Now can I go back and update the formulas on my spreadsheet? I got a 12 air Coors waiting at home, and uh, I ain't working late tonight. Hey, man, it's just a comb, bro. Are we do? Are we done with the combs? No, of course we're not. You're a Buck fan, and you're in hell right now, and the rest of your days are going to be videos like this about titanium combs and pocket dumps. And the fact of the matter is we haven't gone over the action, the lockup, and the pocket clip. Now, the action isn't drop shut, but it's smooth, and it's locked with the liner lock. It's pretty easy to front flip with the index finger or the thumb. Now the thumb is my preferred method for nearly all front flippers and you can fidget with this one easily just pop clicking it all day. Can't do that with your buck can you? It's also a comb. Can't comb your hair with your buck. Or maybe you can. Now the pocket clip is milled out titanium. Not repositionable but it's tip up blade backward in the right pocket. Or tooth up. Is it tooth up? And also I just I just had this thought. What? When it's closed technically it's blade. Sorry tooth forward which is really how it is in the pocket so have we been saying it wrong this whole time since the blade is actually facing forward in the pocket 
Should I say blade forward going forward, even though it's the opposite of what everyone else says? No. You know what? I'm not even high. I'm having a little bit of clarity here, okay? The Sabretooth is technically called the Mini. This one, the Sabretooth Mini, so it's smaller and lighter than the Titanium Original. But man, do I love the colors on the original. Can you imagine how cool it would be to have a $250 purple titanium flipper comb in your pocket? I can. Much rather that than the 110. Help, I'm in hell. Yeah, yeah you are, and uh, I'm your guide. Now the Elixir V2, version 2, V2. About the only difference between the original and this one is the new steel and the blade finish. These are made internationally. As you know, if you're familiar with Riot or Best Tech, that's kind of what these are similar to. I feel like different factories have made these over the years. Great fit and finish, excellent attention to detail. Uh, the V1 released a few years ago was S35VN in your standard bead blast. And here today it's M390 in a stone wash. Stone wash finishes will hide the scratches better than the bead blast, which, you know, gets a little bit of the snail trails. Same smooth action though, same comfortable titanium handle with the little, the little, uh, I don't know, the little the texture, the, the, the horizontal texture, not horizontal, uh, diagonal texture. And as you know, the elixir is an update of the antidote, which was done a few years ago, or the poison. I, I have the poison, and I, you know, although I do miss the wilder colors that they did with the antidote on poison, I kind of wish they'd bring those back. I think, I think knives should kind of like have wild colors, just experiment with them, who cares. Now the action is the same as the V1. It's just barely not a drop shut, a bit of shake and a wiggle. Also, the pocket clip is unchanged from the V1 as well. Middle titanium, tip up, blade backward in the right pocket. Or is it blade forward? Watch the original video linked at the end of this one for fuller details. I mean, I could make this one longer, but you've seen it already. Comparisons. So, uh, the bluer one here is the V1. Although, from appearances, the only way you'd know is the blade finish. The current V2 one is available in blue, just like this one is too. Again, with a different finish. So, uh, I, you know, these are the current colors. These are what you can expect. I like the blue anodized better because it's louder and I prefer louder colors and knives. How about the Laconico Keen? This is loud and I like it. Remember a few years ago I did this? Uh, maybe 2017 as well. Also titanium. You want loud, friend? You want loud, Paul? I'll get loud. Switchblades are cool. Uh, now the paramilitary too. You like this one? It's a popular choice here on the channel. Um, you know, you see this one a lot. It's a, it's a classic. Uh, how about the Falcon? Also HEA designs, an awesome little slip joint. But uh, again, these are all gone, unless he comes back with a V2. Um, and now we're going to look at the anchor. This is not a knife. But the finish, the titanium anodization, has held up extremely well on this. It's been on my keychain since that video, like, uh, it's been a year and a half. Not quite two years yet. It's on there every day with my keys, just... Uh, they're out of the main ones, but they still have the one-off fancy versions on their website. They got, uh, you know, all kinds of cool little colors. There's a, there's a few left, so if you like this, you know, these are these are pretty nice. All right, uh, comb, the comb comparison. I have the beer and sausage tool. That has a nasty little comb on it. Some people are like, I don't know about a comb next to the blade. I'm like, the hair is the thing that makes the blade nasty, not the stuff you do with the blade. Which, I mean, I'm going to be honest, if I find my own hair in my mouth, which occasionally I do, I don't really care, okay? Like, are you letting other people use your knife to comb their hair, and then you're using your blade to cut your little sausages? I don't think that's happening. But I don't know, it's these hypothetical scenarios people invent in their head. They're making up something to get mad at. Making up a guy to get mad at, you know about that, that meme. No hairs here, I think. Uh, Sabretooth is a much heavier solid comb. Uh, the beer and sausage tool is a little flexible. And how about that other GEC comb knife based off the 15? Oh, it's got a little picture of a guy with a pretty solid beard on it. I kind of wish I had the beard. Then I guess the beard comes with lots of body hair. Maybe I need body hair. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet at 40, um, God, 44 this year. Is the beard, the sick beard trade-off for the body hair? I don't know. Do people like body hair anymore? Do, do, I mean, it's like, you know, Burt Reynolds in the 70s. Anyway, based on the 15 pattern, okay, that about does it. This uh, didn't waste too much of your time, did it? Um, there was a few tangents there. Probably probably could watch the whole thing while you're waiting outside the HR office, you know, bringing in your switchblade again. Thanks to HEA Designs for sending these for review. I will probably do a giveaway of this one that they just sent me. I did do the Okasa one, so I've followed through on that. Uh, Going to do a Demco one. 
I just, you know, I, I keep them and I give them away, but it's just sometimes takes me a while to get to it. It's like, you know how it is. And I got to remove the comments and I got to count them. You know, it takes several hours. But you need to follow me on Instagram, though, because that's where I do those. I don't do them here. Uh, and there's a lot of scammers on Instagram now, so it's like not even worth it. It's like a pain in the butt because people are like, do you know there's a scammer? And yes, there are always scammers imitating everyone. Say hi to the patrons. This is my current list of cool homies that helped me upgrade my video gear. Uh, also below the video is my Teespring store. Nobody's bought a t-shirt in a while. They kind of, you know, the design's not super, you know, amazing. But that's, you know, this is a DIY channel. I do everything myself. I don't get other people to do it. And, um, you know, that's what you get. Uh, stickers, shirts, do you support the channel? Anyway, like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching.